In this video, I'm going to take you from a beginner 103C to a top level front one and a half tuck. So let's start right here with this black and white video. So let's go through this a little bit. She's very fast through the hurdle. And on that hurdle drive, that knee comes down quick and the arms are a little wild. So now I'd like to see her keep her chest up and her head is really far forward on this takeoff. Like she's leaning forward a lot. She gets up into a very tight tuck, which I love. And she kicks out for that entry, great. But you can just see that her hurdle is very quick and she doesn't really bend the board too much, but that's partially because she doesn't weigh that much. You can tell she does jump up well. She uses her legs, but she's just leaning so far forward that it's hard to keep it close to the board. Here we've got another double bounce. You can see she's very far from the end of the board and leaning forward. And if you watched the front dive tuck video, we talked about how leaning forward is a symptom of somebody who's newer because they're so far back from the end. They're more afraid of getting to the end of the board and being close to the edge. And they're also afraid of being too close to the board during the dive. So they jump out and they lean forward a lot. She throws into that tuck and it's just it's a little sloppy at the moment, but that'll come along. Let's watch the next video. We'll see what this one looks like. All right, great. So this person has a bit more control. The hurdle is, uh, it's always so interesting when you see a young girl doing a two-step. You don't really bend the board quite yet, but she's trying. Her arms coming through for that last arm circle. She cuts them off early. So her arms are a little bent and they're stopping at about nine o'clock. Her arms are, her hands are facing up, but if you were to extend the arms, her arms would be at nine o'clock, which isn't quite high enough. You want to see them get up a little bit higher. She's closer to the end of the board than the previous girls. And she jumps up a bit better into that tuck. She's higher. Her kick out is a little bit cleaner. And she reaches for that entry. Goes in just a little short. As she grows up, she'll get a little bit more comfortable on the board and she'll be able to jump up a bit more. But a big thing is getting that arm timing right on the takeoff and keeping her head up on the takeoff a bit more as well. All right, let's see that the next one looks like. Great. You can see that this girl takes up the dive a lot better. It's kind of far back in a sense that she's jumping forward a lot to get to the end of the board. And all of that jump forward is hard to translate into a vertical jump afterwards. And so that's what leads to this lean that she has. I'd love to see her hold this position a little bit more. This is perfect. If she just let her arms swing around this position and not lean forward, it would be pretty perfect. Her head position's pretty good until the end. She starts to curl into that tuck. Love to see her head up a little bit longer and her arms get all the way up to 12 o'clock before throwing. I love how she comes off with straight legs. Previous people were coming off with some bent legs. She extends all the way through straight legs and then up into the tuck and then kicks out cleaner, reaches for that entry, just slides over a little bit on the entry. All right standing dive right here the first thing that sticks out to me is the head being so far down on the takeoff you can see the arms swing through great they get to about 11 ish o'clock but the head like he's looking down at the water right now you'd love to see him looking up across the pool more so he can drive up into the air a little bit higher the kick out is a little bit legs and arms at the same time but he reaches for the water great and grabs his hands well and you can see that he's still working on his pike save there, but we won't get too in depth on that in this video. Okay, let's talk about this next person walking down the board up into the air. Now, this is the first person that we've really seen jumping with the board a little bit more. You see he's nice and tall throughout this hurdle until the end he leans, but in through that hop phase and up pretty tall. The arms are a little bit out wide, but he does a pretty good job with the knee. It'd be nice to see that knee drive up a little bit longer and then just stepping all the way out to the end of the board. His arms get all the way up to 11 to 12 o'clock ish, but his head and his eyes, his gaze is down towards the water, which then takes him out and his come out is not as clean as the previous person. I liked this board work a little bit more though. You can just see it's very much upper body and lower body at the same time in reaching for the water. Love to see that kick like this next person that we're talking about comes in through the hurdle, much taller, legs out first on the kick, and then goes for the close. So this is where 
they start to understand they come out a lot better this guy does a great job of waiting for the board to push he takes the board ride up on the takeoff his arms get all the way up tall to about 11 o'clock his head is up a bit higher and he uses the board to push up into the air you can see the change in direction between this diver and even the last diver of the angle here and his angle here very different keeping the chest up much longer up into the tuck and you can see how that changes just that that little bit of a change in the chest position on the takeoff and head position on the takeoff looking up longer drives you up into the air so much better now where this person can improve is even staying on the board a little bit longer keeping the head up and getting his arms all the way up to 12 o'clock on the start then his pike out can be a little bit tighter in terms of keeping his chest and legs closer together he goes into a little bit too open of a pike position and his arms get a little bit too far back you want to see his arms be in front on the pike out not get behind his hips like that he reaches for the water pretty well he just doesn't lock out all the way so you get that little bit of extra splash all right let's go on to this next diver so he's walking down the board up into the press very tall straight up into the air pike out and down into the water great so let's break this down just even from the hop phase look how tall he is he drives up into the hurdle i actually think he puts his knee down a little early but he does a great job with it look at this position on the takeoff here his feet pushing up into the hips it's a straight line up his head position is even is better too so you can see his head is up higher he's looking further out into the pool and you can see how high he jumps up too next phase he's into the tuck and the pike out is early but look how tight the pike out is compared to the last person where his pike out was very large that's the pike out position for him and this guy his pike out position is here look how much tighter that is and now look at the hand positions this person's hands are straight out whereas the previous guy his hand position he was back see how far back his arms got you want to keep everything closer together perfect he waits for it to come around very patient and then he drives for the entry and he's got a rip for sure gets his hands together closes for the water as you can see the progression of the front one and a half tuck typically begins early on in a diver's career because front one and a half tuck is one of the earlier dives you learn but it becomes an amazing drill for front two and a half tuck and front three and a half tuck when you get to that level of diving pay close attention to the posture on the end of the board for the takeoff staying tall and keeping your chest up and shoulders back on that takeoff so that you can stand it up nice and tall and pay close attention to the way that you're kicking out a top level diver will always do this pike out you want to keep it nice and tight close to your chest and head it shows control and it shows strength and you don't want to kick out with your legs and upper body at the same time it's harder to control and it doesn't look quite as good so really focus on getting that legs first pike out and then reaching for the water and that's kind of the progression of a front one and a half tuck and you can see the difference as it goes through from person to person and it's it's a really fun dive to do when you start standing up as well so enjoy i hope this helped and i'll see you on the next one